up guys how you doing it's Catherine, and today is a video about color adding color to this um painting that i've been working on for a lot a lot of months so the goal of this video is not to show like brush strokes or like my my process of working it's it is my process of working but it's more about how i physically move around the canvas as i'm working and kind of the color progression uh, that adds up on the canvas itself. So you'll see, I think I'm wearing like five different outfits in this video because it's like five different days of filming. They were not in succession, so like some of the days there will be like a little bit of space in between. But um, I show the um, color that I'm working on in the top left section. It like a uh, little there's a little transition and it has like the name of the color. Um, so let me just say like the main question that I get when I'm working on a painting on Instagram, on YouTube, whatever, is why, <laughs> why do you do gray first and then do color afterwards? And everyone thinks that it's just like so much extra work that I'm doing, but no, it's not. So I've answered this question before, um, in a video or somewhere, I don't know, but, um, the answer is that because oil paint is translucent you have to do layers so if I were to just do color um, like right on canvas like light will like go through that color and bounce off the canvas the white of the canvas and then it will just make the colors appear really dull and kind of flat so if you add color on top of value which is what the grayscale is it makes light bounce through both those colors and then when it comes back to your eye it like mixes in your eye and then the objects that you are looking at have a lot more depth and I mean even the color sometimes can appear luminous that's the goal so at the end of the video you'll see some like really fat um, that's like oil speak for oil paint that's really really heavily mixed with um, medium and it just brushes over like part of that broken window and um, I do leave some parts gray but um, the flat color glazes is just to kind of unify the composition to use some of the colors that I have used in the geometric parts throughout the entire canvas and it gives your eye like a resting point um, instead of just having like a bunch of texture just next to texture next to texture so it kind of like unifies that one little area too. So I mix these colors like at the beginning and I totally, I like filmed it, but I totally forgot to even like pay attention to like what colors I was mixing to like make the colors. Like it wasn't just like straight out of the tube. Like I mixed colors within them and I forgot to pay attention. So like I was running out of colors, like running out of the paint. And so I had to like, I don't know, I had to like conserve, which I hate doing, but you know, whatever. So. I mean, throughout the painting, I was like constantly getting my the heel of my hand in wet paint. So you'll see, I I tried to like keep as many times of um, using wet wipes in here as possible. And there's like a little hashtag. I was like, ha uh, wet wipes for president, man. Yeah, no. I mean, wet wipes would probably make a better president than. Uh, okay, never mind. We're gonna move past that. So I had to sit on the floor a bunch um, for working on both of those staircases because they were really low to the ground. Um, I even like missed filming a couple of the colors like I missed like that blue and I missed like the um, that red and then I think I missed like a, a really dark blue but you can see it at the end like I show a little pan and then also I had um, this post on Instagram so I had posted it on Instagram and I had like just like the cool gray, cool greens and blues and stuff and like everyone really liked it and I didn't know if I should move on with the uh, like orange, purple and like rusty reds and stuff but I was like, you know, I don't know if I'm gonna do it or not but I went ahead and did it and I'm still not really quite sure how I feel about it. I think it looks really nice on the chair but on the mattress I think it makes the mattress look like super ugly but at the same time like my goal of these colors is not to have like nice colors they're supposed to just be like simplified versions of like rust like patina and rust so that's what all these colors come from so you know i'll post more of this painting when i get it all done and you can always check it out on instagram because i like i said i always post um progress photos on there 
So I'm getting close to the end here. So thank you guys so much for watching. And I post a video every Wednesday and every Saturday if I have time. I didn't this Wednesday because I was in New Orleans. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you later. Bye!